in this particular video, we're going to go over a little bit about zoom, both optical and digital. Uh, now, there's a lot of cameras out there that have uh, really high uh, zoom powers, and uh, this is one of them. It's the uh, Canon PowerShot SX50. It has 50x optical zoom, 4x digital zoom. Um, so what exactly does that mean? I'll show you guys a graphic on how zoom actually works and it's different for every camera. Um, 50 power zoom on this camera may not give you the same perceived uh, magnification or closeness to the object as 50 power on another camera. And basically all it means is that at a certain range, if you zoom into 50 power, it's going to appear 50 times closer than if the image was, um, or if the camera was zoomed all the way out. So, for this camera, that's a certain amount. Now, if you have a camera that doesn't have as wide of an angle lens as this does, um, it will appear zoomed in closer, uh, even when the camera isn't zoomed out, because the wide angle is basically giving you a really wide field of view. So, a narrower field of view is going to essentially give you a perceived uh, closer image. So. 50x on that camera would appear to be a little bit closer. Now, the limiting factor with the zoom um, is essentially that the higher the zoom, the less you get out of each uh, increment of it. Um, two power zoom gets you halfway to the target. Four power zoom gets you 75% to the target. Eight power zoom gets you, uh, what, 88% to the target. And the difference between um, 16x and 128x is only like two or three percent. So the higher the zoom, basically the less return you get on that zoom. Now each camera manufacturer uh, specifies their digital zoom in different ways. Um, some cameras actually crop the sensor down so that you get real pixels in the video or image which gives you a better overall quality than if the um, camera just basically enlarges the pixels, uh, making the video slightly blurry. So that's one thing to keep in mind. And uh, as far as the percentage, when you go from optical to digital and then try to combine it into a percentage, say you have, say you have 4x digital zoom on a 50x lens, it may or may not actually look as if you had 200x zoom because if they're enlarging the pixels, basically what that means is 2x optical, or sorry, 2x digital will essentially double the pixel size. And then 4x digital will essentially quadruple the pixel size. So that may or may not in effect uh, give you much, much higher perceived zoom than simply 200x. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, most of the uh, digital SLR type cameras, they just do like a, a fixed uh, millimeter focal equivalent. So that's really a lot more comparable uh, between different brands, different lenses, and that sort of thing. So when you're picking out a camera, obviously you always want optical zoom rather than digital. Digital is not really recording actual data, it's just enlarging what was there. So if you have a, a fixed lens camera, it's probably going to have digital zoom. So that's uh, that really shouldn't factor into your decision making process as far as picking a camera that has some zoom. Um, now what is the ideal amount of zoom? Um, 8 to 12 power would really cover most of uh, people's needs as far as zooming into um, sporting events or um, some like basic wildlife photography. Now obviously if you're more advanced and really want to push the limits, uh, something like the uh, PowerShot SX50 would be a good bet. Um, I do have video reviews of this camera and the predecessor which shows the difference between 35 power zoom and 50 power zoom and it's really not a lot. So I hope this was helpful to you guys, and if you like this kind of stuff, check out our channel. we got lots of other videos showing how to 
pick out your own cameras, um, tutorials, reviews, and we're going to be doing a lot more stuff coming soon. So thanks for watching.